Missioni crew this weekend drove all the way to Kiambu County for the highly anticipated third edition of the Hakuna Matata Festival. Now different from the first and second editions that were held at Naivasha and Machakas respectively, this edition came closer home to the Nairobi fans and that's at Miga Kiambu and indeed it promised to be one for the books. The event that went down this past Saturday night was definitely the place to be. To our surprise, the event that was set to kick off at 2 p.m. till dawn didn't have as many people at first, just rehearsals and sound checks. For us, we could not resist the popular Nyama Choma and Chicken Barbecue Stand. Mm -mm. The smell of rosemary pulled you from miles away. And as the sun went down, it was definitely time to party. By 7 p.m., the numbers of fans had doubled. Meanwhile, on stage, the rehearsals were now over and it was time for the DJs to take over. There was a performance lineup of epic proportions. Now, the DJ lineup included the best in the industry. And first up on the decks was DJ Crossfit to set the party on fire. With none other than the official MC for the event, Mr. Krim de la Krim. My own personal and crowd favorite was DJ Case, better known as the African Mzungu, who killed it with local hits to Raga and Dancehall. At about 9 o'clock, Lee Van took the stage and belted popular African tunes, blending in with other international hits. We spoke to some of the revelers there and here's what they had to say about the event. I like Hakuna Matata so much, it's so fun. Um, there are a lot of people, people are fun, I don't know, it's fun. I love it because of the music and everything, socializing and everything. Yeah, the DJs, they are, they are awesome. The boys, yeah, you know. After DJ Stretch, it was now time for just a band who gave an electrifying performance. The Hakuna Matata Festival is a Kenyan festival of music with a message of peace, good vibes, and no worries. Actually, worry less, live more. We caught up with the brains behind the event and that's none other than Mr. Krim himself. So, uh, Hakuna Matata is all about live performances and DJs, all right? I'm thinking about 50,000 guys stuck in a forest somewhere, turning up and of course having no stress, promoting peace, promoting harmony, brought together by beautiful music. That's what we are about. By midnight, the crowds had swelled up to the thousands and despite the cold Kembu weather, it was definitely worth the hassle. Thumbs up to DJ Cream, and for those who missed it, please look out for the fourth edition of the Hakuna Matata Festival. Let's go. Hakuna Matata.